In a previous problem, we showed that um, if we add ammonia to a solution of silver, um, the silver gets complexed at a very high uh, amount because we know that the KF value is very, very high. So what happens in a situation where we have, a, we have silver, um, which is normally, um, if we add chloride, it's going to precipitate. What happens if we add ammonia first, and then later we add chloride? Will a precipitate form? Or will the silver be tied up with the ammonia in such a way that the precipitate cannot form? We're going to solve that problem now. And we're going to look at what the molar solubility of silver chloride is in a 0.10 molar solution of ammonia. We're going to see that the solubility changes significantly. Well, we need to treat these two equations. Uh, we're going to add them together because both are going on at the same time. The silver uh, chloride, which is a precipitate dissolving, very low K, so there's not going to be a lot of silver and chloride in solution if we look at this equation alone. Uh, but we also now have ammonia in there with the silver forming this complex, and that's going to change things a lot. So we need to add these two together and then look at how we handle an equation with two different constants. Okay, so first, if I add these two equations together, we see that the silver is on both sides, so it cancels out. And we have silver chloride plus two ammonia. This is a solid. This is aqueous. Produces our complex, which is aqueous. Plus aqueous chloride. Okay, so silver chloride is a solid. What do we do with the K values? Well, we want to know what K is overall. And hopefully you remember that when we have two K values, because we're adding two reactions together, that we multiply the two K values to get the K overall. And when we multiply these two uh, together, we get 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3. Incidentally, these are both 1.7, but that's a, co a coincidence. That's not uh, significant. Uh, so when we add these two together, the K value for this reaction is 10 to the minus 3. So um, let's see what we have so far. Uh, in this, in the question, we're given 0.10 molar ammonia. So we're going to put 0.10 here. And um, AgCl is a solid. So we're going to do our little ice box here. Um, so there's not going to be silver chloride in my equation. Uh, ammonia is going to go up. The, I mean, the complex is going to start off as zero and chloride is zero. Again, this is to help us mathematically solve the problem. All right, and so therefore the change, um, these two have to go up. We're going to say they're going to go up plus x. They can only go up because they started at zero. And if these both go up x, we've got a two here. This is going to go down minus 2x. So now I'm going to add these two equations together. I get 0.10 minus 2x for my ammonia, and I get x and x for the complex and for chloride. All right, so the k value overall, when we multiply these two together, we're going to see it is going to be the concentration of chloride times the concentration of the complex over ammonia, and of course that's squared. 
this is going to equal the k value is 2.9 times 10 to the minus third and that's going to equal uh, now I'm going to plug in these values for my equilibrium uh, concentrations that's going to equal x squared over 0 0.10 minus 2x and that of course is squared also alright so now what do I want to do to solve for x is I'm going to take the square root of both sides and I'm just going to do it to the one-half power to make it a little less messy and move things up okay again we're solving for x which is going to be the concentration of both chloride and the complex all right, so 0.53, we'll save a digit, uh, equals x over 0 0.10 minus 2x. And solving for x, which is going to be the solubility of my silver chloride, is going to equal 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. That's going to be the concentration of my chloride, which means that's how much silver chloride will I will be able to dissolve, or the, the concentration, the resulting concentration, because silver chloride and chloride are in a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, so if I wanted to know how what mass I could add, and so you can see this is this is going to be a lot more soluble than um, if we had not added the ammonia because our KSP, as you can see, is so small. So um, I just wanted to add one more thing. Uh, I'm going to take the 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter, and that's of AGCl. And I'm just going to figure out how many grams that would be per liter as a little bonus here. So that's 143.32 grams AGCl per one mole AGCl. And so that would equal 0 0.69 grams AgCl that would dissolve in one liter of solution provided we have 0 0.10 molar ammonia. Be assured it would be a lot less if there was no ammonia present. So now um, this is a way we could separate out maybe two ions that both precipitate with chloride. So maybe um, as you know uh, lead 2 will uh, also precipitate with chloride and silver. So if lead 2 does not form a complex with ammonia, we would be able to separate out the two by adding the ammonia and complexing the silver and then adding chloride, which would react with the lead 2. And that would be a way of separating two ions that are in uh, group 1 with silver, mercury, and lead.